so hello everyone welcome to another video so as you saw today we are going to create a sq effect on horizontal scroll so it's really interesting and uh, let's actually show you and explain you what we are going to make and here you can see that we have some card here and whenever we'll scroll you can see that we are getting a horizontal scroll and also if you notice that we are getting a kind of skew effect whenever we are scrolling it's looking really nice and the feeling is really smooth as you can see here so i think it will be helpful for your website so that's it uh, that's what we are going to make in this video and i hope you will like it so no more talk let's dive into it so before we start the video i want to mention that if you want to follow us on our instagram you can do that the handle is instagram.com slash web underscore cipher so if you follow us you will get some interesting tips and tricks about web design and development maybe that will be helpful for you and also if you face any kind of problem with this tutorial you can join our community group the link will be in the description we have a great number of community members and which is growing day by day so join the group the link will be description all the link will be in the description so with that saying let's roll the intro and here as you can see that here is my html javascript and css file so first of all let's get the layout and after that we will go to the javascript part and in our html first of all let's say that let's get the boilerplate with the exclamation sign and here inside the body i will have a section and inside that i will have a div with a class of container and here i will have a div so this will be our first item so we will have some separate cards so each card will be our item so here in our item we will have some uh, something like h1 which will say that uh, the count one so we will have a class of count here so this will be the first one and also we will have the h1 for our the title so this is a card or item whatever you can say and after that uh, we will have a pre graph so pre graph uh, 20 or 30 we'll have a little bit more text here so this is our first as you can see that card and also let's have a anchor deck here so we will have it and no more it will be our anchor tag or button text whatever you can say so if i save and refresh here so you can see that this is our first card and now we need to make uh more something like four or five i don't know so you can see that we have so many and this will be our second one so that's it so now you can see that all the card here so let's actually apply some style here so link the style sheet and here in our style.css we will use a google font which is actually let me copy the font here i will not go to the fonts.google.com if you want you can go and grab this roboto font we are going to use it here first of all let's select the universal selector and let's say that padding will be zero margin will be zero and also let's say that box sizing will be the border box and if i save now you can see that we don't have any kind of extra cap anymore so here in our body let's say that the background color we will have a dark color so and if i save now you can see that we are having this dark color and the color will be white means the font color so now you can see it's looking good and the font family will be the roboto font and i think not roboto it is roboto mono so yes this is roboto mono and here after that let's go to the section and say that the mean height uh, will be something like 100 vh and the display will be flex and align items center and also let's say the justify content will be the center now you can see that we are having it in the center almost center here because as you can see we are having it center the content uh, if i do something or if i zoom out you can see that now we are having our content in the center so that's what it is doing 
and after that let's come to the our container so container yeah this one and here let's say that the width will be 100 percent and here the margin will be zero and auto and that's it so it will keep it always center and after that let's actually style individual our card means the item so here in our background color we will use a slightly light color that's the color yeah this is the color and here let's say that the padding will be something like 30 pixel and also let's say that border radius will be uh, about 10 pixel and if i save now you can see here uh, you can't see actually it is a little bit of border radius here and we need to have some margin here the margin will be something like 20 pixel for the top and bottom and left and right 0 pixel now you can see we have some separation here and after that let's say that the width will be uh, 500 pixel so we don't want to have all the 100 percent width we want to have only 500 pixel and that's it as you can see that for our item and after that let's actually grab the h1 so item h1 and here let's say that uh, margin bottom will be uh, 20 pixel yeah great and after that uh prep graph so grab the prep graph here item prep graph and let's say that margin bottom will be something like 30 pixel and font size will be 18 pixels so pretty good and after that let's actually style our anchor tag which is the button so item anchor tag and here let's say that text decoration will be none and after that color will be uh, royal blue and text transform uppercase and also background color will be hashtag 253948 uh, so this is the color uh, yeah that's the color as you can see a little bit uh, bluish color padding something like 15 pixel and 20 pixel looking good perfect and finally we need to make sure that it's actually having the display as a LM block perfect and if you want you can apply some border radius for pixel great so the card as you can see that it is ready all the cards are ready now we need to apply our JavaScript <laughs> So for our effect, we are going to use a plugin, JavaScript plugin here. So I will link it in the description. You will get it horizontal scroll. And if you come here, you can see that uh, how it will be in our DOM. So we need to make sure that we are wrapping all of our block means all of our item in this case with a container. And we need to declare the blocks means all the blocks here. In this case, we are using items and we need to grab our container which is this one and after that we need to apply our horizontal scroll so you can see that this is actually pretty simple you can explore it and also if you want you can actually watch this demo as you can see that that's what we are going to achieve this horizontal scroll with sq effect and First of all, we need to add this horizontal scroll in our project. So if you are using any kind of bundler, you can directly install it with the NPM, but we are not using any kind of bundler. So for that, what we need to do actually, we need to go to the uh, this distribution folder and here index.js. So just grab it or you can just make it raw and copy all the things and come here in your project and create a new folder or uh, sorry new file and name it horizontal scroll i believe my spelling is right i don't know and paste your all the copied code here and save it so this is our uh, scroll horizontal scroll dot js so now what i need to do actually i need to add this in our project so before our this main.js so as you can see that we don't have any kind of js so first of all we need to add our horizontal js horizontal scroll.js so here script source and add our horizontal scroll.js and in the similar way add our main.js 
So make sure that you are adding this horizontal scroll.js before the main.js. So if we come here in our this uh, GitHub repo, you can see that. So here, first of all, we need to select our blocks, and after that, we need to select our content, and after that, uh, we need to apply our this effect. So first of all, copy all this thing and paste it in our main.js. So you now you can see that here we are actually grabbing the blocks and if i come here we are not using any kind of block we are using item so each card is an item so we need to grab the item instead of block so i just can say that item the class that we used here so this is the class same class make sure that so as you can see that uh, the effect is already taking place and also after that we need to make sure that the container which is actually wrapping all the items is also declared here or also grabbed correctly here so you can see that we are actually having it correctly because the wrapping or the wrapper here is the container as you can see that this is the wrapper this is wrapping all the items that we have so this is one so the container and we are actually grabbing it correctly the container and after that you need to actually specify this horizontal scroll so this is simple you can just copy and paste it here so as i did and now you can see that all these things are applying so even if i save here now you can see that we are having it but we are still having some problem here but we are going to fix it so here first of all we need to make sure that we are having a overflow x hidden in our body so overflow x hidden so we will not have this unnecessary a scroll bar here in the bottom and after that in our item if you can see that we need to have some margin to separate them each other so previously we are having margin in the top and bottom but we don't need margin in the top and bottom we need it in the left and right side so for that i just can say that margin left will be something like uh, 100 pixel and if i save it now you can see that we are having 100 pixel margin left but the problem is as you can see here the text is going outside of our item but we don't want that so to remove that what you can do actually you can just say that in our paragraph white space normal and if you do now you can see that the text which is actually going outside it is now containing or it is actually staying inside of our content so if you are having issues something like that which is going outside of our item or card just apply this white space normal into the, the in the element that is facing the issue and perfect now you can see that it's actually working perfectly now we are having this scrolling effect but uh, it's not in the center so to make it center what you can do in your item so here and here you just can say that transform translate y minus 50 percent which will ultimately make it center as you can see so the problem uh, here you can see that we can't see actually our number six card we are actually seeing the fifth one so let's see what is actually happening here so the reason behind that we are not seeing it because i think we need to make sure that the last item so last of type will have a margin right 100 pixel and if i give that so now you can see that it is working perfectly sometime you need to hit the refresh button and it will work actually i don't know why it was not working previously but it is now working perfectly fine and the reason that i did uh, here the margin right 100 pixel so if you don't do that you will not have a space here we are adding uh, a space with the margin in our item so here in the left side every time in the left side we are adding the margin but we are not adding any margin in the right side so that's why we just selected the last item means the sixth one and added this margin left sorry margin right in the 100 pixel so as you can see that it is working perfectly fine and the last thing that i need actually i need to add our 
this SQL effect. So here in our JavaScript, we need to say that is animated is equals to true. The value will be true. So if I save, now you can see that we are having this animation and which is the SQL effect and you can actually control it. So also we can specify the spring effect which will be 0.8 also you can play with this number and came out with your own value or own effect so the last one that i want to show you which is the skew reducer so reducer will be 30 and if you can see now the smoothness is now is actually a little bit more smoothness here we are seeing and if you explore this you can see that here we uh, we can actually use a SQ limit if you want to limit your SQ number so by default it is 20 but you can actually limit as you want and the one the strength of the SQ effect is actually this one so we actually make it a lot uh, smoother with this SQ effect and all with this spring effect actually I think this is the spring effect uh, which will allow you to smooth your scroll and the effect yeah this is the spring effect sorry so the, the reducer is actually the strength of your sq and this is spring effect will actually make the smoothness and also you can actually make a limit of this sq effect with this sq limit so that's it i think uh, there is nothing else so it is a pretty simple JavaScript plugin that you can use for the horizontal SQ effect. So now you can see that we are having this nice effect here, which is looking good for me. So that's it for this video. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Also, if you want to watch more video like this one, please subscribe the channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I will upload my next video. So my name is Arfan and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye, Kodafis.